Warning, the following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to the final episode of Resident Evil Village Blind. <laughs> I, if you hear final there, it's because I said it. If you don't hear it, it's because I redubbed it. <laughs> I love doing it now because I never really know when it's a blind game. Uh, but it feels like we're near the end. On the last episode, we had to run from mannequins that resembled Mia. You know, the one that we did the operation on with Ethan back when he had to go through the house being Viento. Yeah, we had to, we had to dodge them in a way because they were standing still as long as we looked at them. But as soon as we turned our eyes, they started chasing after us. Uh, we managed to get the fuse and then four of them started chasing after us. Uh, we brought the fuse over to the elevator only for us to get shrunk down to doll size. And then we had to make our way back from the elevator all the way through the basement to the bedroom again, where we got we got bullied and then we had to run again. But this time, uh, we ran until Michael helped us escape the mannequins and dolls and stuff. Uh, we were able to start using our powers again. Michael then brought us over to our childhood home, uh, the one that we saw at the beginning of Village as they were getting ready to celebrate Rose's half birthday. Uh, but as soon as we read a note that Ethan had left behind, Evelyn showed up and was like, hey, I hate you because you took my family. And then she started she started uh, attacking us. So we had to start running from everything as she started sinking in the basement in goo. Luckily, Michael showed up again as we took the elevator up and gave us some pep talk. We found another flask upstairs and he's like saying, yeah, it's uh, it's time to fight Evelyn. So, this episode, I guess we're fighting Evelyn and whoever whoever comes afterwards. Because, uh, yeah, that's all we really have. I like how I don't have one, two, and three because they got taken away from me, but I do have the fourth one. Which gave me a, which gave me a thing, and I feel like I'm stupid because I used my, my, uh, my healing sprig thing to replenish me up to four. I'm pretty sure if I would have picked that one up first, I would have just been replenished anyway. So, I have no replenishing herbs. And I have one healing thing, and I'm at half health. So I guess I just need to—I just need to find a time to stun Evelyn, and then Michael will do the rest. So we'll see. Look at all the goo in there. All right, let's just go in. You will never leave. Never. Okay, watch out for our wind blasts this way. Oh. I have been such a good girl! I stood up, I don't know why. Die. We were supposed to be a family. Got her. She's not done, be careful. Behind me. Completely obsessed yeah. with stupid old roads. Oh boy, I'm doomed. <laughs> I'm a dead man here. If you'd never been born, it would have been perfect. All right, I see. I see what I have to do for timing wise. Die here! Watch your step. I'm looking. This is stupid! Go away! Oh God. Okay, I, I saw that happening when she didn't move. Oh, this is bad for me. You're worthless! Nothing! A, a freak with no friends! Thank you, Michael. Oh, come on. I am. No wonder no one loves 
trust me? What now? This is all your fault! And I will never let you have what you want! Rose, look out! Oh, oh. Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Michael? Are you there? Rose, look out! Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. Oh, where the heck are we at? I'm on my own, but I have to keep going. Hey, you know what the rule is? If you don't see them... If you don't see them die, they're not dead yet. Even though he is 100% dead. But I mean, it's it's the part of Ethan that's still in the minute the of my seat. Okay, I still don't have my weapons? Oh, this is the house that we like went through at the beginning of Village. Oh, I'm heading back towards the Village. Uh-oh. Okay, safety save then. I still have no weapons. So what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm a liar. I have my weapons back. Oh, I have, my, I have all my stuff back. Oh, okay. I mean, still, I think the name of the game is to not fight anything except bosses. Like if I, if I can get around them, get around them. Oh, look, it's the triacular key door. What's all this doing out here? I think the upper levels, upper stratums are collapsing. This is all stuff from the mansion. Oh, this stuff is from the basement. I am so going to miss some ammo here. Oh, it's the money shot time. Wait, hold on. Am I missing anything because I'm sprinting to the money shot? <laughs> Where the hell am I? What is that? I can sense something from over there. Okay. All right. Head to the giant core. Okay, village is on fire. I slide down this. Part of the village I can't even get to. Hmm. I'm trying to see what parts I can go to. Uh, there's the building. Okay, so the entire, like, southern part is gone. It's covered in the in goo. Uh, there's the chimney. There's, like, the courtyard over there. The church is over there. Church and everything over there look fine. But, I mean, that's where, uh... That, that's where Chris, like, dropped the bomb during uh, Chris's section. Like, this is where the graveyard is. Slash the door to the castle. Alright, well, let's just go down.
Oh, hey, look, it's a me. What? Okay, why is there an evil me? Evil Rose. Oh, cool. Anything back here? I like how I... Oh, there, there, there is something back here. Nice. I have so many first aid meds. I can't wait to waste them all. Especially because my inventory is getting a little full. Here, let me reload my shotgun. Okay, one bullet. Cool. <laughs> They're all... Just like in the castle. The heck fell? Oh, it's a little drawer. Hey, it's me again. Oh, there's the mask. Can I have the mask? Oh. Guess there's no point in taking it out of a dream, huh? <laughs> Should have known those ones look weird. Remember when I said don't bother don't bother fighting them? Wow, I whiffed. Oh, that was really quick. I'm even stronger than before. Crap, they're coming back quickly. Yeah, no point going that way. Nah, you could deal. You could stay there. <laughs> I'm going down in the hole. I need to find that crystal. Oh, this is going to end probably where the giant mutamicy thing was at, huh? Unless we go to that unless we're following and going down to the the lab down there. Ooh, there's some stuff down there. That's where he fought Mr. Big. You know, when he was like still alive and he had a bunch of armor on him. Like, I'm just calling the, the hammer things Mr. Big because it's way easier to remember what they were actually called. Ugh. Is this where those copies of me came from? Oh, this is technically a la the lab. It's just in a different form. It's a lot of handgun ammo. I'm running low on stuff. I'm gonna have to start tossing stuff. The Mega Mycete absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. it seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. One, the memories that compromise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Two, only those who are attuned to the Mutamycete and life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understandings of the Megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megamycete. And yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strive have continued to strive. They are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I have accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megamycete, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. 
With so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know that perfect vessel, the only real candidate in all my years of searching, Rosemary Winters. Ah. Uh, bet this is Mother Miranda. Ben's been here. Okay, I could save the game. Once again, safety save. Don't really care because it's the last episode, huh? <laughs> I have been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and re reviving the consciousnesses, consciousnesses stored within the Megamycete. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamycete, and mixed with other consciousnesses and memories. Extracting and reassembling an individual who has thus diffused has proven a monumental effort. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals as consciousnesses to create an entity. Results. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, respooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual, birthed anew in this realm. A success, to be sure, but while his unusual physique resembled the man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply warped psyche and was missing a portion of his face. While manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. Oh, so that's what happened with the Duke! His unusual physique resembled the man I once knew. He was possessed of a deeply warped psyche and was missing a portion. Okay, so that's why there's a mask on his face. But uh, the Duke's not dead. It gives me a lot of shotgun ammo. I'm probably going to have to throw this away. Or I could use this. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is, essentially, a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. One, the fact that Rose herself is still alive. Two, some other actor within this realm. Three, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm. If she'd offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Additional observations. A further experiment with these Rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations invoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblances of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time, could they? Maybe. Oh, there's more shock and ammo over there. I don't have space. It would seem that at a some point during my experience with the consciousnesses, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure, Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, disposed of her will to live, and her mutamycy powers. Dispossessed of her will to live. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. Rose would have been on the verge of despair, dis dispossessed of her will to live and her mutamycete powers. When did that when did that happen? Because I think I think she was affecting me beyond. Uh, she's either talking about when I like almost gave up to Duke. Oh God. Okay, more handgun ammo, more shotgun ammo. There's another thing of that over there. I don't, yeah, I can't trash the weapons. I will trash the pistol ammo. That's not what's supposed to happen. Oh, 
Oh, they're just gone, gone. Okay. You know what? I feel like that might be worth it a little bit more. Ah, crap, this is a bunch. They're giving me another bunch. More handgun ammo, too. I think here I... Uh, do I sacrifice more pistol ammo, or do I sacrifice a first aid med? I think I sacrifice pistol ammo. Oh, never mind. I sacks. <laughs> I'm a dumb dumb. Here. You know what? To save myself some time and some pain, I'll just safety save it again. There. That way we'll start from here. What did I miss? What else did I miss? There's something else here. Maybe I was mistaken. I was about to get birth again. Ugh. Oh, she's looking at me. All right, I'm prepared for a showdown. That's how it's gonna be. I have a lot of health. I have a lot of. Ugh. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. I'm almost there. Michael. Yep, here is the room where the mutamycete used to be. It's through here. Okay, apparently there was a goat over here that I didn't shoot during the main game, and I feel bad and stupid. <laughs> I mean, look at that. There's just, this, there's just a statue there. Black God which lives in us and in which we live. Create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds us for a second chance, graciously offered and joyless, joyless, joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth. Not to destroy, but to persevere. And once again, deliver unto life. This is some twisted shit. Uh, don't put the baby there. T -t don't put the baby in the middle. I like how there's some candles that are burnt out. Like that one, I'm up there. Like not all of them are lit. That'd be, even, that'd be crazy if all of them are lit. I know there's stuff I'm missing back here. It has to stay red because there's no way I can pick it up. Plus, we've already failed. There was definitely something that was red before. The uh, the boss fight room. This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. I mean, just based on the fact that there's all... Never mind. waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. What? You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but... He said, did he or did I? That was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! Rose, run! 
Ethan, you pest! Go! So, I'm strong to even he can manifest. He can save you, Rose! No one can. Rose! Rose, hurry. You can't escape! Not from me! Ethan, I want to see your face! Yes, but right now you need to run! Run! Use all your ammo. I'm not using any of mine. Can you please slow down? I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you. But I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. Okay. You think you can kill me. And even if you were to survive, what would be the point? You can't save your father. You are of two different worlds. Oh, it's a it's a it's like a parry. Okay. There is nothing to fear. Why do you That was perfectly timed. I won't let you do this! How do you possess such power? <laughs> it took so much to lure you. But you're incredible! Well... Dodge it again. Your time is at Alright, just gonna do that. Third time is which attacks. No! I cultivated this world within the Mega Mice 
to resurrect spirit. No matter how many vessels I've created, you have the power to reach That is why it must be. You are the only one who can bring her back to Whatever it takes. Stop. Keep on missing. No. Is there anything here? Me Wait, memory's edge. Oh, God. Whatever I must do, I will. Oh, I just let her attack me there. Come, be by my side. That won't work. Why do? Wait, wait. I need. I think I need. I think she needs to be in the field. There will be wailing and gnashing. There we go. Let's see you dodge this. Impossible. <laughs> Do you still not see? There is no happy ending. I'm just seeing if I could like do something with that. Oh god. Okay, so I found handgun ammo. Is there like any shotgun ammo? You just won't give up. You really are. That stubborn life that shines inside you makes oh. you the perfect vessel for my Hey Ethan, how's it going? I just let her take that one. Hey, I got two charged up. This will all soon be. My power now. Okay, I probably should have done it there. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh god. Third time the charm? Yes. 
sweetie. Oh my god! You're, you're so caught up now. And even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. Back. I'm back. I think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like it. Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know.
And so ends Shadows of Rose and Resident Evil Village as a whole. Uh, I still want to know who was walking up to the car at the end. Although that does give a little bit more added context to uh, the Rose scene from the original game, uh, from the base game. Where she was like, I could show you things Chris doesn't know. Does she have the power to like do that little side dash? And I mean, how is she, what's she going to absorb? <laughs> what is she going to absorb and freeze outside? I mean, outside she doesn't have like the whole uh, veins going down her body. Also, she, Freddy Krueger, her dad's ring into existence. Didn't that get eaten? Didn't he lose his ring finger from the, from what, the first werewolf that he ran into? It was nice. It was it was a nice scene between the two of them, and you know, stopping Miranda again. I wonder if she's gonna be like, "Hey, you know that mutamycete thing? Yeah, can you flush it somewhere or burn it? Because Miranda is still in there, and she's creating things. Well, is she still in there? We we did kill her again, but is it like you can't die twice?" <laughs> I mean, we had to deal with Evelyn. Wait, did we deal with Evelyn? No, Ethan dealt with Evelyn. But she might still actually be around in the Metamai seat, so... Make her a villain again. There's a chance to bring her back. I mean, it seems like there's a chance to bring Ethan back. Just, like, hold on to his whole body instead of just the ring finger. <laughs> that was a very nice thing. Oh, like the masked dude. Wait, Heisenberg was in this thing? Oh. Oh, that just gets spoiled about like a scene that's going to happen at the end of the credits. He wasn't like, I mean, none of the, none of the other like lords were super in tuned with the Metamycete, I guess. Hold on, let me, I'm looking at the names again. Yeah, there's Heisenberg and Dimitrescu. Who's K9? That might have been who K was at the beginning. It's weird that they brought K in and then he was like, he was only a dream. I mean, there's probably, there's definitely a real K, but. How did they get control of her outside? Cause there were, I mean, there should be no like Munamicee for them to like get in contact with. I don't want to skip, because there might be something at the end. It was a very fun, it was a very fun DLC. We had a lot of ammo at the end. Uh, we didn't really use our pistol all that much once we got our shotgun, because why would we shoot something seven times when we could shoot it once? <laughs> I love how they still didn't show all of Ethan's face. Like they got, they got close, they could show like the bottom, they showed like the side, panel if it was if it was fully visible then it was super blurred because he was off in the distance because the of uh, force of view or field of view one of these days <laughs> i mean you're, people probably know what he actually looks like if you just grab the model from the game how does that work in how does that work in uh the third person mode because then we have an option to choose first or third person at the beginning of the game I mean, that's what the DLC was, right? It allowed it allowed you to play through Village in third person now. I wonder how that goes during some of the cutscenes. Some of the cutscenes are kind of first person heavy, unless they just like do third person during gameplay and then first person during cutscenes. Because then you have to like retime things and make it look nice. Because you know, when you're animating something in first person, it doesn't have to be on model, especially if it's you know just a camera. Still, this is very fun. Is it better than seven? Ooh, that's a question now, isn't it? Is it better than seven? It had more variety than seven. Seven was lightning in a bottle though, but it was still fun. They were both fun. This one, this one was a little bit more action-oriented. 
And, if, and it was probably like a nice demo for Resident Evil 4 remake, huh? Give me my bleep bloop. Serene teen. On at least standard difficulty. I keep on seeing a pop-up that, like... Ooh, what's this? Green teen. Oh, this is for being uneasy. Or casual. I'm glad I get them both. Any other bleep bloops? No? Okay. Starting to grow on me. Completely consumed. Oh, that's... Okay. Craftsmaster, not so beloved child. Executioner, executed. All right, so what does that let me get now? I probably can't bring, like... I probably can't bring, uh... Infinite ammo guns into Shadows of Rose. I mean, there's this, but... I could be playing that. I already have it. I have... I have a lot of money. I could buy the special weapons. Not all the special weapons. I could get infinite ammo for the guns. That would be pretty good. I've never been able to get infinite ammo this quick. So that'd be kind of nice. Oh, why can't I get it for the sniper rifle? Oh, because it's not upgraded fully. Darn it. Wait, it's not upgraded fully? Wait, that's a different... That's a different... That's a different weapon? It's not a different weapon. <laughs> it's a stupid figure. Rosemary is a baby. Okay, then they have Rosemary probably as a... Adult or teen, kid Rosemary, teen Rosemary, and then adult Rosemary, <laughs> who could probably go Super Saiyan. Ian, Meath, and Rose. I think it, oh, there it is, grown up. So that's concept art. Well, that's going to do it for Resident Evil Village. And as you always know, whenever we finish off of Legacy, uh, at the very end of this episode, there will be an audio audio cue clue for what the next Legacy is going to be. So, next week, next Tuesday, we'll see what we have in store. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy. What are you buying?